Hi everybody, this will be part 20 of the character rigging tutorial series. Last video we set up the joint system for the cloth. So I'm going to turn off my body. I'm going to leave my joints for the body created or visible because I've already parented my joints for the cloth up to the body. So if it's like the root joint for the pelvis, it should still select all of my joints for my cloth. But what I want to do now is skin my cloth so that way when the joints move or rotate, it also rotates or moves the cloth geometry. So we're going to select the cloth geometry and I'm going to open up my hierarchy by hitting shift on the plus symbol beside my joint pelvis and go find my cloth. So where is my cloth? We'll roll up our collar, roll up my other collar. There we go. All right, so here's all my cloth joints. So I don't want to skin to my root of the cloth. I want to have my geometry of the cloth selected. And then I want to skin to all of my other joints for my cloth. So not the root for the cloth, but cloth one. And I'm holding down control and clicking each one of these so it selects them as well. And I'm going to select all of these joints that I've created for the cloth, which is a lot. We actually may need more depending on how well this deforms. But this is a good starting point. So we have all of our joints for our cloth now selected. Holding down control, selecting all of these specific joints and selecting the geometry of the cloth. And what we're gonna do is go to skin, bind skin in the option box beside it. Let's save before we do this. Let's do save. That's fine. And then we'll go to uh, skin, option box beside bind skin. We want to make sure we keep bind to selected joints because I don't want to skin it to the entire body joints, just these cloth joints. So just two selected joints. And uh, because my geometry is not a full, fully watertight model, I cannot use uh, heat map geodesic voxel for the bind method and I cannot use dual quaternion or the weight blended for the skinning method. So I'm going to keep it, keep it as a default bind method as close as distance skinning method to classic linear okay so that way the geometry doesn't have to be or the joint doesn't have to be inside the geometry for it to work it can be close so it's going to basically skin it according to how close that joint is uh, to the geometry so let's do bind skin there we go that looks like it's uh did most of it so if i come in here and move a joint it looks like it worked properly let's try this one Yep, so it did. It didn't colorize all of my joints here, but it is working. So if I go up here to this top one, there you go, that looks pretty good. And you shouldn't have to do too much refinement here. Oh, it's doing a pretty good job there. Pretty good job there, what about the back joints? So it did not colorize all of these joints, but it is gonna be working properly. All right, so what we can do now is, um, you can go back to the skin weights tool and refine the skin weights. You can go to paint skin weights and look to see how each joint is actually skin weighted. But this is a pretty good start to see when the body moves, how we can deform the cloth as well. Uh, so there's our back skin weighting, two and three and four. It looks pretty good. Uh, but overall, uh, it should do a pretty good job for you. So what we can do now is come in here, turn our body back on and uh, start playing with some joints. I got some keyframes here, so let's uh, remove those keyframes. Like that, do break connection. So when that shoulder starts to rotate, what's gonna happen? So as default, it's not going to bend or move the cloth, uh, but what I can do is I now have the option to animate my cloth as well. So during that same time, um, I can come in here to some of these cloth joints. I select like these three and four okay. and create a keyframe for those. As the arm moves down, I can start to rotate this. Okay, so it kind of curls down with it. But then I can also come in here with a cloth joint to kind of move them up. There you go. And move one out some. There you go. So as it animates, it's gonna to start to blend that cloth there. Okay, so the next keyframe, I'll come it back down, but then select these. And this is what we would do in the actual animation. 
Uh, we could then rotate this back up. There we go. Keyframe that. But maybe come to the end ones and kind of flow those back down some. Maybe move them down a little bit. There you go. So it looks like it's going to kind of, as much as it can, follow with the arm. Now it is blending a little bit too much here, so that also means like during the same time, I could come here and I would want not change this in the skin weights, but as it blends, I would come and move this joint of the cloth so that way it will animate with that body as well. So now we can have the cloth look like it's like naturally draping on the, the character. Uh, we can take these sub joints and select those. And with the rotate tool, rotate and blend these around as well till we can get some more refined forms. There you go, popped a little bit, so let's go back to the right frame here. There you go. So over time, it's gonna look like it's like natural cloth moving. So that should be a good easy way to create, key, uh, create joints and skin them for uh, things like cloth and any other accessories that you might have. All right, that'll wrap up this video.